everyone, this is Fox Pool YouTube channel. Today we would like to share one special Android TV box. And this TV box is called Lemon TV L1. So we are going to talk about some details, features, unpacking, connection, and the interface for the system of this TV box. Let's check out more information now. First of all, you can see this is the green color package. This is the original basic package for this TV box. For our company, we suppose to change the whole package. If you have a bulk order, if you prefer your own customized package. And also, we suppose the customization logos on the package. For example, some of our customers, they want to buy some samples or just want to put a logo on the package because the whole changing package it will require an MOQ requirement. But if you only print your logo on the package, in our company, we support MOQ for one piece only so we can just put your logo on the package and you can sell it as your own brand products so let's continue to talk about some info it's unpacking this tv this tv box this is the tv box and for this TV box, it will have a logo on here, Lemon TV. And for this one, it supports TF card. And also we can see, you can use the Ethernet cables. You can connect this TV box to your device by the AV cables or HDMI cables and suppose two USB hosts. You can use more different USB devices and DC for the power supply. This will be the basic information about Lemon TV L1. And for this TV box, it with the iATV system. It has the similar system with the Android TV and it is an upgrading version of the Q5 TV box. So the same Android 10 operating system with the 2GB plus 8GB memory. So we are going to show a how to connection and to your TV. Okay, on the package, we also paired with one power adapter for different power adapter, US plugs, UK plug or EU plug or AU plug. And also with a HDMI cable. And this TV box supports the Bluetooth. So it with a Bluetooth voice remote control. And you can see this is the voice buttons and also have the shortcuts for some uh, media apps. And it also with a use menu with different languages. Uh, let's continue to show how to connect the TV box. First of all, you can power on. So you can use this power adapter to the DC for the power supply and HDMI is connected to your Android TV box to the TV so we just need to get this cable ready and one side for the TV box connected and another side for your TV so this will be the connection it's very simple and easy to get it now we already connected the lemon TV L1 to the TV now 
and uh, for the first time to connect this TV box to the TV, it will require you to prayer the Bluetooth remote control. So this is the Bluetooth voice remote control and it shows you have to press and hold the OK and minus button together and point at the TV box. So we can press the OK and minus button together at the same time and point at this TV box. So it will start to pair and it shows pairing successfully. So we already connected this Bluetooth remote control now. Uh, get back to the choose the languages. You can choose different languages and also it shows the display. You can choose according to your TV and this is the scale and the time zone for your local time and this you can choose use the ethnet you can connect it by the ethnet or you can use the wi-fi so we connect it to the wi-fi and you can choose the wi-fi you want to connect it And now the Wi-Fi is connection now. Wi-Fi is connected and then you can set in this now and it will back to the interface of this TV box now. So here it is, it's the Android TV system of this one. You can find many apps and also on the bottom it will show the Apple list you also can on the apples and here we have the app list so you can start to open this app list and to see what apps have in these devices and uh, for some functions like the voice function you have to log in the google google account and you can Find the settings on here and it will show the network internet you just uh, connected and also the Bluetooth. We will find we have pairing this remote and also you can pair some other uh, Bluetooth devices. And this is the Google account. You can log in directly. After you log in uh, successfully, you can get more information on this TV box. And also you can use the voice function and apps. You can find more apps on here and you can install more apps from the Google Play Store or you can use the downloaders to download the apps you want and you can check the apps on here or uninstall the apps and let's check the device preferences and under about you will find this TV box 11 TV with the Android 10 operating system and date of time to check the time of this TV box change language, keyboard, mouse mode or the display and display you can choose and change the uh, HDMI output mode and we support the 4K 60 print and you also can change other inputs on the device reference and storage it will show this TV box is the 2GB memory and 8GB internal shared storage and 
you will find this reset. This reset is the factory reset. For example, you want to make this TV box back to the original TV box. So you can choose the reset and reset directly. So it will erase all the data from this device and like the, you, your Google account system or the app data, it will all delete it back to the original. So we can log in the Google accounts and then to show you some info now. Okay, we just uh, import our uh, uh, Google account on these devices now. It's back to the interface and this is the voice function so on the remote control you can press this voice button and uh, just uh, speak loudly and for the first time it will show these tips so you can just uh, press the continue and allow Try open the device you want now. So back to the main page, home page, and you can speak loudly when you press the voice button. Like I want to open the YouTube. Open YouTube, and it will show some info you just said like open YouTube, so it will start to open the YouTube. You also can open some other apps as you want it. And uh, for, this, for this info, you have to log in the Google account and also connect it the network. So if your network is not so good, so it will start to load it. So here it is, we open the YouTube by the voice function. And you also can find there are many other apps on the, uh, on the TV box. There are four shortcuts, uh, actually five shortcuts like the Lemon TV shortcuts and also have the YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus and Google Play. The shortcuts means you can just directly press the buttons on the remote control and it will start to open the app. For most of the time you have to uh, press the app, la app list on here or press here to open to find the app you want but you also can press the shortcuts on the remote control like i turn on the netflix so we just press the netflix and it will show the netflix so this will be the simple instruction uh, about the lemon tv l1 Let's continue, we are going to talk about some apps to testing these devices. First of all, I would like to check the root. So we can install a root check app on this TV box and just uh, open and it will show for this Lemon TV L1 TV box. It's running Android 10 and it's not Loot it so you can get more information from these devices. The another app will be the AIDA64. So let's check more information on these devices and we will find this TV box with the Google system and it with the RAM with the 2GB 
and HGB for the Rome. And let's check the CPU info. It with the Ovenna chipset and 64 bit ARA. And display. So this will be the AIDA64. You can get all the information from this app. The last apps will be the Entry to Light. So you can check So we can move this 